The Happy People Entertainment and Development Foundation and Radio Pulpit have partnered with a team of artists from around the world to host an online art auction. The different forms of artwork ranging from paintings to jewellery started showcasing online from the 30th of November and will end today. The online auction was established to raise funds for an outreach program aimed to improve the well-being of school environments to make it more conducive for both learners and teachers. The outreach program is scheduled to start on the 4th of March 2021. Now, Posha Mutale from the Happy People Entertainment and Development Foundation joins us on Zoom to tell us more about the project. Posha, good morning. Welcome to Morning Live. Good morning. Thank you. First, give us background into how this project started and what inspired it. Um, you know, um, in light of the spate of violence that has been taking place over the years, especially in schools, um, the behavioral, or rather the bullying behavioral patterns in the schooling environment, that is what actually inspired it. And then we thought it would be further exacerbated by, you know, the impact of COVID-19. So we thought um, because our organization focuses on inspiring and uplifting the youth through the arts, different genres, multidisciplinary genres of art, from music, dance, poetry, fine art, and that is what we are focusing on, we thought, why not raise funds um, to actually take smiles to schools? And that's what the name of the outreach actually is, taking smiles to schools. And um, obviously we need um, resources to do that. And hence we are doing the fundraising. Mm -hmm. How's the art auction been received? You started on the 30th of November. What's been the response? It's been um, not too bad, but, you know, people are not that, um, are rather not that comfortable with um, social media, or rather doing business online, you know. Mm. So, um, so far I'd say it hasn't been too bad, um, but we could do with more um, support and funding. Yeah. Now, the artists uh, that you um, roped in, um, how did you get them to buy into this project? Well, I mean, they love the initiative, especially the fact that it um, impacts the lives of children and the youth in schools specifically and even teachers. Um, and that is how we got the buy in. And obviously, the fact that Happy People is... Um, an art orientated um, organization, you know, um, inevitably it, it was for us easy to work with um, artists. Mm -hmm. Which artists are these? I'm just curious. Okay, we have different, uh, different, um, we've got um, beat accessory des designers, who's, um, there's Musi, who's based in Cape Town. Then we have Ngobi Lengosi, who's actually an award winner, Toko San, an award winner, Entrepreneur of the Year 2016. He specializes in jewelry design. We also have been mainly um, fine artists, painters, mm. contemporary painters. We have a young um, child star from Kenya who is a painter. Her name is um, Sheila Sheldon Charles. She's also an award winner of many awards, including the, um, the, the Youngest Lioness of 2018. Um, awarded by Tessie Foundation. We have, gosh, there's so many. We have sculptors, sculptor mm. designers, innocent. There's uh, Mike Kanji, who's a fine artist. There's even a photographer who's from the Eastern Cape. Her name is Mamsi Mbembe, brilliant photographer. And this theme is in, within our, you know, our mandate, which is being happy, which is to inspire and, and to uplift. So most of the artworks that you see on our website depict the theme. All right. So I get onto your website and what, what then happens? What, where, where do I go? How do I navigate my way around uh, this website? You get on. It's www.happypeopleartauction.org. Um, immediately, um, you'll see obviously our um, header, what we're about, uh, background information and what to do. And then I think two paragraphs below, yeah, it's about two paragraphs below, there's an option to click on auction items. You click on there and you are able to get on to, or rather to access the, the items that are on auction. What for you has been the highlight of being part of this project? Our highlight, you know, the fact that it's not only about raising funds for the youth, but it's also helping artists, especially um, after the seven months of lockdown, you know, artists have also 
been heavily affected by mm. um, by this lockdown. So it's really it's it's nice the fact that um, it's it's giving. It we people can give to actually. It's a gift that can be a gift to others basically. So the artists benefit. It's threefold. The artists benefit. The youth benefit, and even the people who bid and buy benefit because. Um, the items that are there are quite beautiful. They can also serve as gifts, you know, for the holiday season. And we've touched on an important point of, you know, um, money uh, not going around uh, too well for families. And how do you get people to buy in when they can't, you know, sustain themselves because people are generally not going through, people are generally going through a difficult time at the moment? Well, I mean, you know, I think for us, it's more about the cause. Um, yes, we are going through tough times, but um, we are of the belief that when you give, you actually you become blessed. It's just the way the world works. It's in a, another way of putting it, it will be karma. You know, so really, um, um, people are free to give. Those who cannot afford, they are actually affordable items yeah. um, on the auction for as low as 50 rands. Um, when converted into um, rands, because it is in US dollars, um, because it's an online platform. Obviously, we are in a global village. We want to accommodate everyone. But um, there are quite affordable, good quality items that are on the auction. Mm -hmm. Speak to us about this outreach program uh, to make most schools more uh, conducive for both learners and teachers. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, as I mentioned earlier, I mentioned that what inspired it is the bullying behavioral patterns in schools. So we, we, through EQ, which is emotional intelligence training, we assist with empowering learners as well as educators with self um, cultural rather conflict resolution. And what EQ does is it helps you with self awareness. You get to know yourself and those around you, um, self um, motivation as well as. Um, you know, just caring about those around you, um, self-control and empathy. So, but ours always have a fun component. There's always fun and games, which is, you know, which what this is what makes it happy people. As much as there is um, the workshop, you know, to improve lives, but it has a fun edutainment component. Mm -hmm. How do you select these schools? Um, we obviously looking at the marginalized communities, um, you know, in the township, the rural areas. Those are the areas that we are currently focusing on. Um, this is why we need funds, you know, because it does cost to do the training. So we need to obviously pay the facilitators and the trainers to actually um, run these workshops. Are you finding that you have to work a bit harder to look for funding uh, because everybody's also tightening their belts? Um, hence, we thought, why not give, you know, in return? Instead of knocking on doors and saying, please help us, give us cash, um, we are saying that, you know, there's an exchange, there's beautiful artwork, well-crafted um, artwork that one can actually buy, which is value for money. It's not just us asking for people, you know, to part with their money. Mm -hmm. And the artists, mm -hmm. we spoke about different artists from uh, different parts of South Africa. What do they get in return? Yes, you're auctioning off their artwork, uh, but what, what, ben what are their benefits of being part of uh, Happy People uh, Entertainment? They actually get um, the value of their artwork. They, um, so in other words, if an art piece, let's say, um, costs 500 rands, we actually double that. So we match funds. Mm. and they get their money, you know, they get paid, they comp get compensated fairly. Now, let's talk about, it ends today, what, what do you want to do? What do you want to achieve by the end of today? It doesn't end today, by the way, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, no, it goes on until the 8th of January. I see. Yes, and we, I mean, we're hoping, we want to sell out every item that is on the auction, we would love to sell because it is all beautiful and um, I think one would get good value for their money Yeah, and for supporting, supporting a good cause. I'm trying to look on your website here to see what, what have you got left, what, is, what else is there? Uh, since you started the 30th of November, you've had a, obviously a few uh, sales, what is left on the website that people can go for? All right, so it is a bid, sorry, it's a, the auction. So people auction, are, yeah. are entitled to bid for any item that they like. Everything is still available. So the higher the bid, the higher you pledge, 
you know, obviously then you win, you, you get to buy the item. Mm -hmm. So everything that, that was there from the time we started is still there yeah. until, the 8th, until the 8th of January. We then obviously go for the highest bidders on each item. Then people are awarded their gifts, obviously after they, they pay. Um, how do we get people to respond better? You said the response is not as good as you would have wanted. What do we do? How do we get people to, how do we drive people there? I think the more um, items they see, the, you know, if they get to see what we actually have to offer, and obviously just building awareness and talking more about it and the fact that it's for a good cause, you know, um, it's to empower the youth and, and the educators as well as the artists. Mm -hmm. And how do you begin to measure the success of a project like this? What would be the most gratifying bit of embarking on this project? Well, if we can impact as many lives as possible for us, you know, um, and, and we, we see a change in the moral fiber of our society and our schooling environment, then for us, then that would have, um, mean, for us, that would be how we would define success. Mm -hmm. And we've spoken about the schools. Um, is there a way of growing this project to be a bit bigger than it, what it is at the moment? I mean, it's not, if we could do more, I mean, not only touch um, schools, but our communities in general as a whole, you know, households, families, South Africa has been faced with so much, I mean, with gender-based violence, you know, if we could also take this further, you know, away from not only schools, but even into our community, most definitely. Um, those who want to support us are more than welcome in reaching and impacting more lives. Pusha, how do we begin to use art to change uh, society? I mean, art alone is, is therapeutic, you know. Um, it, 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 it's a way of communicating. It's a way of uniting people. Um, and, and I believe that, you know, all art, music, you know, dance, it is th those activities and even sport, they unify, you know, they promote social cohesion. All right, Porsche Mutale from the Happy People Entertainment and Development Foundation talking to us about their foundation's online artwork auction. It's on until January the 8th. So if you love art, apparently, um, you can uh, purchase um, artwork on there from ceramics to jewelry. There is a lot of uh, works that you can purchase on the website.